Hello, hello, hello. So very smallish update. Not sure how it's focusing. So this is a panel, a wider panel, that uses uh, one of my cloth of my big guns for damping, and it damps some of it, not all, of the resonance frequency. So I still have to use IQ. Uh, I tried it here with some felt because I didn't have uh, the second cloth is still on the other speaker, and I'm, I don't want to ever move it. It's too much work. Uh, this does not work. So this uses only the speed to get rid of the resonance frequency, which is also higher in frequency than the wider panel there. So my best bet is, if I want to use this, uh, maybe I even have to go wider, which is, yeah, not something I'm looking forward to. But uh, that one is 39 hertz or something, 40. That one is more in the region of uh, 48. Um, yeah, someone asked, can you play more like a um, bass, acoustic bass, etc. So I'll do some not Doom kind of related score. <laughs> because, well, that's hard to verify how that should sound. There was also too much bass. I don't know how this will sound. I mean, I'll just sit on the couch. Uh, I have a minus eight and a half dB on 51 Hertz because that's my room mode. That's uh, eight or nine dB you get for free. That's why the LRS that does not reach down to 50 Hertz flat, it will in my room just because I uh, my room is bass heavy. So I removed that for this one uh, and I added a notch on both resonances of these panels. This one minus 8 dB because it's slightly damped or 7 dB because it's slightly damped by the fabric. That one minus 11 or something. I think this one even less. It's also less annoying because it's a lower frequency. So 50 Hertz is quite an annoying frequency that I have to damp even more because my room already gains it. So if I got 9 dB from my room, 9 dB from uh, the panel or 10 dB, that's going to be outrageous ugly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's, it is another song. Something I've never played. I just heard it like a few minutes and I thought, well, this might be something that people like or at least that uh, people wanted to hear sort of instead of the um, doom soundtrack which is really nice at least i think but uh maybe they do not recognize anything because everything is electronic so i'll add my uh, in earbuds make sure i got a beer uh, and by the way, I'm still not sure if this whole thing is working or is just more annoying. I don't know. I could get a, I could make it like complete true push pull. Then I use use uh, twice the amount of magnets and steel, so it would be like uh, at least twice as expensive, maybe a little bit more. But then you do gain 6 dB and you have the benefits of <clears throat> push-pull in quotation marks because it's not really push-pull but you get still the 6 mm X-Max this is capable of but with push-pull you gain 6 dB as well. Maybe slightly less but so yeah. And of course it's a bit more complicated to make and especially put together. So I'm not sure yet. I probably have to make one to compare them and if the gain is, is so much more than not only gain but maybe some other benefits then this is just a, uh, I would not say a fluke, this is a way of getting more bass and higher excursion out of single ended magnets. So far 
but well with downsides i mean the resonance is higher than i would wish for that means the panels have to be wider in push pull that's not a problem push pull makes the resonance uh, go down and also if i remove one membrane the resonance also goes down quite a lot so there are several benefits so this might be interesting for I don't know, a 2.1 setup if you have to, if you want to have an all planar magnetic, which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, you can get a good sub and it will outperform it, uh, I guess. Uh, but maybe in some cases the low sounds more like, well, open baffle or closed. So if you're not using servo, etc., it might have a benefit. But it's a costly benefit. You can get a, uh, probably a six inch or eight inch woofer ported will outperform this panel. That's the way it is. I don't mind, but. Um, this performs the, outperforms the LRS. The LRS will be outperformed by a six inch woofer in lows. So I don't know exactly about this panel, but. So I say maybe six, maybe, maybe eight. Maybe no. Uh, this is recording. Oh. <clears throat> I'll be sitting on the couch and I hope I'm not gonna lean forward. So I might have uh, some um, more bass or at least the wall will interfere behind me. There is damping, but it's never enough, of course, especially the lows will not be eaten up by the panels that are standing there. So this is, uh, I don't know what it is. I'll put it in the description, <laughs> I think. I'm leaning back against the wall almost. If I move forward, it sounds different. Now I'm leaning forward and probably the stereo image becomes wider. But I don't like sitting like this, so I'll go back and it will change in sound again. Sorry about that.
have a cap on. I don't know if that changes anything. I think so, but <laughs> maybe it does. Okay, something completely different. I never uh, played this. Uh, now you can ask, is this loud? Well, I did have to put down the microphone quite a bit, so... And you wonder, well, why do you sound so loud? Well, the mics are in my ear, so... Give or take 10, 15 centimeters away from my mouth. So if I do this, uh, you can hear me even better. I have my hand for my mouth. Uh, the speakers are, of course, <coughs> uh, well, two meters away. Uh, so yeah, if you can barely understand me, uh, that means they're playing quite loud. Anyhow, uh, anyhow, anyhow, it wasn't house. Joel, Joel, well, I'm not gonna pronounce that. I'll just put it in the uh, description. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play some more with it. Uh, upcoming weekend, I have like a meeting with some people that make loudspeakers, etc. Uh, also Sander from the MFB correction stuff. Maybe I'll take one panel with me if I can. See what they think. I mean, <clears throat> it would be helpful if people have uh, something to say about it. See ya.